All right, now it is Tuesday, Mars Day, so I'm checking in with the palaces. Peace to the Palace of Coin. All right, let's see. What is going on with the Palace of Coin? We're talking about all Earth archetypes, Taurus, Virgo, Capricornicus. All right, talking about the second, sixth, and tenth houses. Ah, oh, the planetary influences of Venus and Saturn. Let's see what's going on. All right, be aware when it comes to investments, it is crucial to make. Um, oh, I just got dignified, but you know, use your discernment. All right, it's going down. All right, let's see what's going on with the Palace of Coin. Distant horizon. So moving forward, this is, when it comes to it, it's, it's like moving forward with career. Could denote traveling to a very large degree. No longer being feeling stuck in a career. Something's leading the way. This bird is leading the way. So communications about moving forward could be accepting a job offer or some kind of confirmation about career, child, all right? Poverty. It's feeling like I deserve this. It's feeling like empowerment. Like if it's, it's I, I just feel like, you know, for whatever it's hitting for, there was some kind of programming from a child of not feeling worthy or deserving of a particular career or worth an investment. And it feels like moving past that and then moving past that, like that clarity, that, you know, confidence, mental confidence, you know what I'm saying? It moves things forward. Okay. Let's see. Let's get one more for the Palace of Coin. So it's feeling very Virgo, Taurus, value. Standing in one's value. Knowing that you're worthy. Not afraid to say, okay, no, I don't accept that. And it's not easy for everyone to do that. So there's an invitation here with the flowers. Like, hey, like, again, accepting an offer, like, because it's worthy. You know what I'm saying? So this is, you know, this is my Scorpio card, eighth house, shared resources. Like, if it does feel like this is giving me overall. I know my value. I know my worth. And, you know, it, it possibly, most likely wasn't always like that. But now that I do... There's an offer coming in. Somebody's willing to invest in me. It's it's secure. I can, you know, it makes me, it brings security to a large degree. It's been navigated. This is like, you know, something that has been orchestrated to a very large degree. Like somebody, um, like if it, it does feel like a chance happening, like, oh, this just came out of nowhere. Like, no, there was some navigation behind this, some communication. Somebody has been waiting for some kind of security you know what i'm saying it's going to stabilize the home all right let's see what's going on all right earth signs <sighs> something is heavy though be responsibilities could have a child and it's like I'm not sure or something that you know brings the like like responsible like a child something like that
Wow. All major arcana. Capricorn is in the building. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Yes. Yes. I like it a lot. All right. This is giving... This, this this is for somebody that's more so kind of like that resonates with more of receiving this invitation, okay? Like this is attractiveness. Like of course this, person's, this person looks good, woman or not, you know what I'm saying? It's confident, like so what my titties is out or so what, you know, I flex my, I don't know, my biceps or something like that. It's not a shame to... You know, use not for manipulation, but it is what it is. If I if I if I'm physically attractive, so be it. So be it. Okay, I look at, I take care of myself or whatever. But attractiveness meaning I know that I can get what it is that I desire. Like it's going to come to me, and if it's not right, it's not right. Okay, I'm very a strong, creative person, passionate person. I'm full of life, a lot of energy. People like to be around me, you know what I'm saying? Like my energy changes things, like that type of vibe. And I'm intuitive, I'm emotionally stable, very kind. Like people may, on the outside, they may kind of perceive you to be kind of like sharp or hard ass or spicy or something like that, but just as much very kind and gentle and intuitive, or this is two people, or this is both you or whatever, but this, you know, Queen of Cups is absolutely kind, caring, you know what I'm saying? Very um, strong with their intuitive abilities. They, they trust their gut. They just know things, comforting or whatever the situation is. And again, there is something here to be nurtured, like a child or this is an offer. This is an invitation that is coming. You know what I'm saying? Because again, somebody stood their ground, seven of wands. This is what I believe in. This is my value. This is my worth. Either we're working together or we're not. And if we're not, that's fine because I'm only in it for authentic partnerships. This full moon in Libra might have been very significant. Like, you know what? If it ain't it, it ain't it. Okay. I need something to work with. That's for real. Okay. If I'm going to be contracted up with something, because Libra is the start of contracts for me. You know what I'm saying? If it's going to be a contract, don't have to be physical demon where it could be energetically, verbally, or whatever the situation is. Libra is an air sign. Could very well be verbally. I said, we shook on it. We're going to do it or whatever the situation is. It just got to be authentic. All right. And this is giving me strategy. Okay. Like seven, seven of swords with the empress. Like, I'm standing my ground, okay? Death card, big, big energy here. Because in the past, for whatever is hitting for, whatever happened, there was empowerment. There was courageous. You could be, for whatever it's hitting for, within your family, your friend group, or something. Something something that denotes the first or something. This takes a lot of courage to do. Um, maintaining one's own, um, you know, instincts or, like, um like some type of animalistic natures to do something like being in control of that. Okay. Because right now this is about business. Capricorn is here. The devil card is here with the tower. Something unexpected is happening. Something big is happening because somebody is empowered. Okay. This is empowerment strength card. Like I am a beast because I can control my beast. Like this, this is giving like the energy of somebody that can change other people's vibes just by like their silence, their, their inner strength, their inner energy that they give off. Like this is empowerment right now. Strength card. Let me get you on the strength card. Like you will invest in me. Like, like, because you want to, because you see my value, you see my worth, you know what I can do. I know what I can do. Tell you, man. Like, this is somebody like, yo, I surrender it. All right? And once I surrender you, once I give you up, that like, you're blocked. Okay? You can't come back over here. All right? Because I'm moving forward. Knight of Cups. Like, it's all good. Like, I'm remaining chipper. I am optimistic. Rather charismatic. Very charismatic. Okay? Attracted. This is like a dangerous type energy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like... It ain't too good to be true of whatever the situation is. Temperance in reverse. Something is, again, it feels like this is what's being blocked. We got the King of Cups and the Queen of Wands. And it's interesting. We got the Queen of Wands here. So this could be a group or something like that getting started, coming together. 
All right, three attractive energies and one action taker here. We got the temperance. Patience could be running thin with getting this thing started. Like, I'm ready now. You know what I'm saying? With this devil card, it's giving Mars and Capricorn. Like, I'm ready to get this business started now. You know what I'm saying? Or again, there could be some kind of obsessive energy here with that temperance in reverse. Like, somebody's up very mad. All right, that somebody that they're blocked because there is like a blocking energy here with the nine of wands in reverse. Yeah. That's it. Like, there's a lot of fire here. Somebody's fired up. Two of Wands. There, somebody's moving forward. Two of Wands in reverse. They are not looking back. There is no decision to make. Okay, because they they know what they believe in. Again, with the seven of wands, standing their ground. Like that's it. This is it. This is what I'm doing. All right. This is like you can get with it or get lost. There's a you know somebody has a lot on their shoulders right now. Like I'm ready to get it started. Okay, I got a lot of responsibilities. I, I work very hard on myself, on my career. Things are producing. And again, Knight of Swords reverse, High Priestess reverse, the moon. There is something in the shadows here that really wants to say something, but they know for the most part they can't. They probably really want to get in on this, but they know that they just can't because, you know, their energy is off. Nine of Cups reverse, Five of Pentacles reverse. Like they, you know, they know that there's going to be another partnership here and somebody's really upset about it, but their energy is blocked anyway. This is about business. All right. And with this tower card, something unexpected is going to happen. All right. Somebody might get thrown for a loop for whatever it's hitting for. Tell me about this tower. Something might be shocking about this invitation, this job offer. You know, that they, you know the, a child wasn't a problem or something like that. Or something was healed from the past. Like they really did move past something. Are the first to do something in their family. So I feel like this, whatever it is, it may come from a distance with this hangman. All right. This talks about perception. Like somebody, could, you know, whoever this is could be waiting for something, three of wands. And all of a sudden there's like an aha moment or something sparks. It's like, oh, snap. And boom, something happens here. A partnership. <laughs> it seems like, you know, something from afar, maybe, you know, all of a sudden see like somebody may be on like. I don't know, like a vacation or surfing the net or something like that. And it's like, oh, snap, like, boom, that's what I've been waiting for. And boom, it's a partnership, two of cups. All right, ace of wands, reverse, knight of swords, queen of cups. Like somebody who, there is an energy here that is going to try to come in and be like, oh, we should have worked together, but three of cups, reverse, Fortune, Wheel of Fortune, where it's paper. they linked up with something, a group or something that they should have been like been dismantled from or you dismantled from this group and some one, somebody or all of them was going to try to like say some off the wall shit with the Knight of Swords and the King of Swords and to try to manipulate this situation and be like, oh, well, if you would have invested this or now I'm ready to invest, you didn't understand what I was going through before. Whatever the situation is, is just be aware. All right. So let's see what we have for Taurus. Let's see what we have for Taurus. lot of fire up here so wherever you have a lot of fire um i'd say sagittarius specifically leo yeah could be very significant your 10th house your fifth house very significant
So Ace of Wands, Two of Wands, either way, there's only one way that somebody's going. I was saying that Two of Wands in reverse came out. When it comes to business, like, listen, I'm moving forward. There's only one way to, for me to go. And whoever's in that energy or whatever the situation is, I do feel like it's a very isolated energy. Somebody that does not have a partnership, the partnership comes, Ace of Wands. And this is, I'm telling you, there's a lot of fire up here. This is a lot of passion. Romance could be included in this in some shape or form um some shape form of fashion like you meet your lover through this career like it's, it's it feels like it's about career but romance is intertwined somehow with all this passion creativity and this is a phallus too i don't know all right ace of wands knight of pentacles in reverse like the reason why somebody only has one way to go because something was absolutely stuck stagnant it, it, it couldn't invest it wouldn't invest it was very like back and forth one minute i'm in one minute i'm out and you know, immature communication with how somebody felt about something. And that's the reason why, like, it was only one place for this person to move forward and do. All right. Virgo. Virgo. Okay, Knight of Cups reverse. So, you know, that's like breadcrumbing type energy, cynicism, like like that <laughs> in your face. And then like they don't even try in your face. And then as soon as you turn your back to it's like talking behind your back. And they could be doing that because, again, there's going to be a brand new opportunity here with money. Okay, and somebody's going to be talking some a lot of shit like, oh, yeah, da, 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 da. let them. Okay, let them. All right. Uh, I don't know what it is. Eight of Cups. Like, they still, you know, this is somebody that, you know, the reason, like, their feelings really hurt and they really do want to come back around. But the way they cover that up by being cynical and talking shit, like, yeah, I didn't really want it anyway. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Okay. Sun card in reverse. They're not happy about this. They, they feeling left out in the cold. There's a lot that they want to say. They still feel like they should be aligned with you, but they're not going to say anything about it. All right. And... Capricornicus, Capricorn. Capricorn. You up here, Capricorn. Queen of Cups in verse, Nine of Pentacles in verse. So this is highlighting somebody that's going to be, I feel like they're going to be very sorry. Like they're going to be very sad and, you know, like financially they're not going to be able to take care of themselves very well. That They're not, they're not going to feel very attractive. And I do feel like it's because of this situation that like this partnership that somebody's about to get that they're very attractive, very kind or whatever. And it's kind of feeling like somebody that authentically feels like and knows that they missed out. Okay, kind of feels like, oh, I wish I could be that kind of vibe. I don't know, but the moon card in reverse, they're, per they're, they're going to stay in silence about this. They're not going to reveal this, although somebody may absolutely know. And it's because, you know, they got, like, there's some kind of spiritual situation somebody's going through with the temperance card. They're just going to have to go through this spiritual process, whatever it is, with the six of pentacles something about equal give and take and really going after what you want and being fair with people at the hierophant and a ten of pentacles you know uh you know using their core values you know what i'm saying having their core values align you know or i don't know something about core values and that bringing in money like their values something like that you know they're passionate, you know, following their passions or something like that. All right. That is what I have for the Palace of Coin. I appreciate you just on 1919. And I'll see you next week. Peace.